What's good, Wolfpack? Today is Monday, September 21st, and I'm Josiah Edwards. I'm Isabel Herman. And we're here with your distance learning announcements. To start off today, we have a special segment featuring a Consumnus Oaks alumni who choreographed and performed a dance as a tribute to Beyonce for her birthday and to spread awareness about Black Lives Matter. Here's Irene. Like, I met Beyonce's dad once. I haven't met her yet, but I met her dad. <laughs> This is Eric Willis, an alumni from Consumer Soaps High School, class of 2016. Recently, Eric has created a piece in tribute to Beyonce and the Black Lives Matter movement. And this is Talia Green, one of the main choreographers and dancers. How has Beyonce been an influential figure in your life? For as long as I can remember, Beyonce has always been like my favorite singer, artist, entertainer, like overall everything. I grew up pretty much listening to Destiny's Child first, and then it just grew from there. I would use probably at least two of her songs for any piece I was doing. I'm pretty sure I drove Miss Hendricks crazy because it would be a constant thing. Like it needed to be the song up until I graduated. Like. She was there the whole way. <laughs> How has attending COHS affected you as a dancer? I was on there for all four years. For all four years, shout out to Miss Hendricks. But it really actually helped me in this sense because this was my first time directing a project this big outside of when I was in school because I was the student director of my junior and senior year. But it being constantly like having the rehearsals or you know the warm ups and all that. Structuring that routine of like going into, okay, this is. Now you're transitioning into dance mode. This is dance class now. And then taking charge and, um, you know, coming up with all these concepts, it really helped me hold this thing together. There's a lot going around in the world today. So has any of the social or political climate encouraged you to make this video? As you know, it's every day there's something new that's going on. But I always wanted to make sure that it captured the essence of the film as well, but still make it in my own in a sense. So I know when, we were, when Eric and I were, um, like in the early stages of us even talking about the film, one thing he was really adamant about was including um, Black Fist in the end. Um, at the end of the film, you'll see like three Black Fists in there, just kind of resembling Black Lives Matter, like Black Power. It really um, motivated me to want to just bring awareness and just show that we are together and we aren't going anywhere. Since you're already kind of doing something centered around Blackness, like why not take the moment to really um, create space for us to kind of just breathe and remember like even though with everything going on everything's still going to be okay we're still here we still you know we have love for each other things like that so wow that was tight thanks irene Attention to all teachers and students. There is a new app called Jamboards that teachers can use in their Google Classrooms. Jamboards is an app that allows students to interact and share ideas. The app is similar to Palette. On Friday, some freshman students were encouraged to share who they would want to have as their Disney parents. Students had fun sharing their ideas and describing their choices. Here are Jamboards from a few of the freshman classes. And that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have an awesome Monday, Wolf Pack.